So let's take a look at on-demand capacity, and this is where you pay per request. So you pay only for what you use. So over here, we have it set to on-demand. You're gonna notice that we cannot set the provision capacity, and we cannot set the auto-scaling, because this is all gonna happen for you automatically. And on-demand is really good for uh, cases where you have a new table, and you don't know how it's gonna turn out. You don't know what you should set your uh, capacity to. So it's just easier to go on-demand or you're never going to have predictable traffic. It's going to be all over the place. Uh, you don't want it to be throttled and lose traffic. And that auto scaling group, it's just not going to work because it's just too erratic. Um, or, you know, you just like the idea of paying for only what you use because uh, DynamoDB can get pretty darn expensive at scale. Um, and the only limitations uh, that are applied to you is whatever is the default on the upper limits for a table. And the upper limit is 40,000 RCUs and 40,000 WCUs. So that's the worst, uh, the worst damage someone could do to you. Uh, and what I mean by that when I say damage is that there is no hard limit imposed by on demand. So if you get a lot of traffic and it requires 40,000 RCUs, it's going to spin up to that. So you just have to be careful that, uh, you know, you don't have runaway traffic here uh, because that will uh, have you end up with a very large bill. But again, on-demand is still a really good uh, feature because it gives you a lot more flexibility.